I forget how to open this door here. I don't remember. Oh, wait. So we got to get a fourth round key to get this area open. Okay. And then... Okay. Treasure store. This is where these treasure store areas, this is where your gold key comes in handy. And so you basically have three options of treasures. Here is a tome, a magic book. I forget what this one gives. But you basically have these three areas. This one gives some potion making gives a flask and some items to make potions but uh, I forget which one I went after it might have been the tome it's always best to do a save right before you uh, choose a uh, treasure item let's go ahead and choose this one a tome of fire gain plus three fire magic and plus ten resist fire so this would be great for this mage because she's my fire and ice mage but instead of choosing that one let me see what the other choice would be so we'll go to the second room here Oh, this is a crossbow. Which could come in handy for my rogue. Uh, the only problem is the attack speed on the crossbow is pretty slow. It's a speed of 9. Whereas my bow is a speed of 12. Now the crossbow does eight points more of damage but uh, I think I'm gonna go with the crossbow just because the tome of fire even though it would increase some of my mages capabilities in fire I can always do that leveling up so I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the crossbow for my rogue. And uh, I think that'll work out. Although, you know what? My rogue does a really good job with, uh, with arrows. I think I'm going to go with the Tome of Fire, now that I think about it. The uh, crossbow does indeed do more damage. It does do more damage, but I think I'm better off doing this. Let's see, she is my... yeah. So apparently she also gained a plus one of strength as well. So my fire mage, the fire magic went up. I gained a point in strength and I gained a resistance, an additional resistance of resistance of fire to plus 10. So now I'm at 31 resistance of fire. So. I think that's going to be the better, uh, better deal.